This is Real Time Business. I'm Gigi Stone Woods. Now, across the business world, companies are scrambling to figure out AI. They are exploring different ways to use AI to accelerate their business strategy. So, for more on all of this, we're joined by Dr. Khalid Khan, EY America's Strategy and Transactions AI Leader. Thanks for being here today. Thank you for having me. So, most people are thinking about AI in terms of use cases. They're scrambling to figure out this emerging technology. How should companies be thinking about their AI strategy at a corporate level? I think organizations miss a beat when they think about it just through the use case lens. Gen AI in particular uh, is a catalyst that can really drive transformative growth and innovation opportunities. But in order to harvest or harness those capabilities, you want to really link those two specific line items in the P&L. So look at your investments in this emerging tech through a P&L value accelerator lens. It's hard to see the value creation when you're investing in AI. So how do you help them look at it in a way that can help drive profitability? So typically we advise clients to kind of look at it through sort of three buckets, right? The first one is products. So this is this concept of generative design. So how do you use Gen AI to really develop new products and services. Secondly, you look at your customers. So this is this concept around using generative AI to kind of create more targeted, more hyper-personalized content to engage them better. And then thirdly, you look at your operations. So how do we actually use generative AI to streamline our supply chain, to drive down cost to serve, to speed up route to market. All of that creates resilience. When you put all of these things together, you're gonna to be able to create a level of competitive advantage above and beyond what your peers may have. So what are the areas that we should be thinking about? And there's sort of three guiding principles that sort of consistently emerge. The first one is start small. And that's really key because what that does is that allows the organization to really demonstrate value quickly to the enterprise. So what this does is it allows you to set the pace at which your organization wants to adopt this and where it wants to adopt this. Secondly, experiment. Do rapid experimentation. Make a lot of mistakes. Make a lot of mistakes. That's where you're going to learn and that's going to help you shape where the pockets of value are for your organization. Thirdly, set up what I call uh, responsible AI champions in your organization. They're going to make sure that the investments that you're making are consistent with your vision, your credo, any sustainability goals that you have. And this is really important, not just because the technology is moving quickly, but the regulation is moving quickly. The data privacy concerns are there. I think you sort of tapped on the holy grail, which is really personalizing all of this and making it proprietary to your individual company. So how would uh, you advise clients to use AI as part of their overall strategy? Let's use Gen AI as a real practical example, because that's really kind of where most of the Chat buzz GPT, is. ChatGPT, for yeah, example. That's where most of the buzz is. Look, that the value of that technology sits or rests upon what are called these foundational models large language models, right? Those are gonna be ubiquitous if there aren't already. So then how do organizations differentiate the application of this generative AI technology within their enterprise? The key place to start is your own data assets, your own intellectual property. That's what's gonna set you apart from others in the sector as well because they'll have access to the same models, the same tools, but what they don't have is this unique knowledge that you bring to the table. So the winners are the folks that are going to be the ones that at the end of the day have a robust, well thought out data strategy because that goes hand in hand with how successful your AI strategy will be. Okay, robust, well thought out data strategy. I think that will really help uh, corporations who are trying to understand this emerging technology moving at a breakneck speed. Thank you for your great advice. Dr. Khalid Khan of EY. Thanks for watching Real Time Business.